Hey guys, welcome to Convolution. My name is Khan, and right now we're almost at volume 6. You know, we're not there just yet, but we're almost at volume 6. I just finished Ruby volume 5. It was, it ended in a spectacular fashion, I feel like, especially with uh, the way chapter 13 ended up, you know, with that crazy maiden versus maiden action. And now Team Ruby finally has hold of the relic, the relic of knowledge, which is literally a lamp, helped to light their path a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So many great uh, ideas and theories that you guys have been thinking of in the comments for Ruby volume 5, uh, my chapter 14 reaction. Action. So I went through a lot of you guys' comments. I think I went through like pretty much all you guys' comments from the previous uh, three chapters, 12, 13, and 14, you know what I'm saying? And I, I keep on bringing in those comments and ideas and um, help me help express more of your guys' thoughts and help explain what happened, you know, in this chapter. Because every time I read one of your comments, I kind of, sometimes like every five comments, I learn something new, you know, like it's, it's, it's crazy cool. So super excited to read what you guys have to say but as many of you guys stated and i actually forgot about this because a lot of you guys stated this pre uh, uh, several chapters ago Any but the, there is a another character short specifically an adam character short prior to starting ruby volume 6 you know what i'm saying and so many of you guys have expressed your like enthusiasm and excitement for me to check out volume 6 so many of you guys have said that volume 6 and volume 7 are like your favorite uh ruby volumes to date you know some saying like you know going as far as saying volume 7 is even better than volume 3 you know so i'm I, i'm super excited because i personally enjoyed volume 4 and volume 5 and if you guys are saying volume 6 and 7 are even better so i cannot you know i, I my, my mind's gonna explode you know my mic cannot handle all this hype you know so i am super freaking excited and this short is like the longest short we get it's not even short bro it's like the size of like an, uh, uh, it's longer than one of the episodes from ruby volume 5 i mean ruby volume 1 you know so Super excited, it's like seven minutes and seven seconds long. Well, you know, cut off the, uh, cut off like the edge a little bit. It's like seven minutes long. It's a nice juicy seven minutes. And you guys said that you guys are just like waiting for me to check out something specifically here. I don't know, I'm super excited. I'm gonna dive right in. Oh, but don't forget, if, if, as always, if you guys are enjoying watching these videos with me, don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video with any other fans of Ruby or Rooster Teeth content out there. And of course, come over to our Discord. We reached 100, help us to get to 200 people over on our Discord over there. Join the wonderful community growing. Also, twitch.tv slash Convolution is where I'll be Twitch streaming some games going forward. And let's go ahead and dive into Ruby. The seven minute long Adam short. Holy shit. Is, I'm curious, is this going to take place right after? Are we going to follow Adam right after um, volume five? Or is it before? Actually, no, no, it's before. You guys mentioned that this takes place uh, sometime in the past. So here we go. Three, two, one. Sun! Sun, I'm the moon! Oh. For a second, I felt like I was watching a video game trailer. Dust processing? It's a factory? All right. And you said no cameras? Yeah. White fan sure. member? I'm pretty sure. Faunus. You work here. I work in labor. I'm not even allowed near processing. Uh, this doesn't feel right. Who are these characters? Maybe we should just leave. No. It's oh, time shit! Shadow against the wall! Adam. Our kind's been beaten. Murdered. Treated like dogs. Taking this dust is only illegal. Oh shit, his his thing is off. His helmet is off. Us animals. Oh, of course they're not gonna show. Oh, it's his old yeah, costume. You're right. <laughs> hey, what's with the custom mask? Kind of makes you look like a grim. Is this the first time? Yeah, it is the first time he's we wearing the mask. It doesn't have the red are, markings. But we should make sure they never forget what we looked like. Wow. Now, this is a long, long time ago. It's time we got what we deserved. Oh, hey. Oh, so I'm guessing it's like showing Adam's story from... Oh, Ilya! <gasps> See, oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Please, we're just trying to pass through. You know looks different. Well, you animals pass through the wrong town. I'm There's no need for Sienna, violence. dude. We got a con. Oh shit! Holy crap! So this is when he was still in charge, right? Damn! Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay. Damn! Oh, oh, you see him? Damn! Holy shit! Yeah. Can you imagine if he was a good guy? 
can't stop this fool, you predator. Oh, I missed this so much. His freaking sword, the, the sword bullet. Yeah, you better hide. Run your ass. Oh, please don't. Oh, right. Charging it up. You see his eyes went completely white for a second. He dead. Oh, damn, blood. Oh, shit. Oh, freaks. <laughs> they literally came out of hiding that to shout was freaks. was necessary. This is the very reason the they hell? think they can treat. Gira. Look at Sienna. He saved your life. He's a hero. That was amazing. Come on! Wow. This is where it begins. He starts to feel the, you know, the recognition. Blake, I'm sorry. I told you it was an accident. Was it? This wasn't the first time humans have died on missions you've led. How many more accidents are there going to be? I don't know. I'm out there fighting for us, and when you fight, people get hurt. What, do you want me to just abandon our cause? Like your parents? No! I'm not saying that. I... I don't know. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have brought them up. I just get scared when it feels like you don't believe in me anymore. I never said that. Thank you, Blake. It's good to know I've still got you. Ah, shit. Oh, storm kicking in. Oh! Oh, yes, Sienna! Let's go! Holy shit, look at her go! Yo, her weapon is a chain? Damn, look at this! Shit! Oh! Around her freaking neck, dude! So cool! Oh man, why you why is she dead? Oh there obviously she needs us company. Damn, damn! Oh, oh Damn Ilya, Adam, and Sienna together! Dude, can you imagine if this team was on our side? I mean not just Ilya. Slash and bash, gotta cut a hole in these freaking robots ass. It just makes me sad, he's so cool. Hey, there's kids in their army? Oh, no, no, they're just they're, they're soldiers. <laughs> oh shit, oh shit, smoke gas. But Fauna should technically be able to... Oh, let's go! Damn, thank you for this character short. Can we just get Sienna Khan character short? Damn. Oh shit, yeah. It's okay, they got it. They got it. Oh! You see how that shit wraps around her? Holy shit! It can actually come off! And it's a freaking ice dust! Oh, 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 oh. Adam. Let's move. Yeah, see, even Sienna doesn't approve of, like, senseless killing. You continue to be an extraordinary resource to this organization. Everything I do is for the Faunus. I'm sending you back to Vale. Rise. You're to assume control Lord of Vader. the Brotherhood there. Thank you, High Leader. <laughs> yes, my master. Adam, if you continue along this path, you might just find yourself standing beside me at my throne. Oh, shit. Giving him the little spark of ambition. Shit, ambition! High leader! Oh, what a transition. The raid on Haven's gonna be more complicated than we thought. Don't worry. Nothing will stop us now. Wow. It's time I got what I deserve. Well, he kind of did get what he deserved. You know what I'm saying? He did get what he deserved. <gasps> Are we going to see him without the mask? Oh, this is this is right after he he um ran away, right? Like we're seeing his whole story in like little segments. We don't see him without the mask? Are you serious? Oh, wow. Okay. So 
Okay, so this was a very necessary uh, character short that um, I, I didn't know that I needed, but I so needed this because a uh, one it doesn't not just explains um, Adam's story from beginning to end, but it also gives justice for Sienna. No, you can't do justice for Sienna. I, I, like, a, the, but this at least gives us like a good a good minutes chunk of Sienna action. You know what I'm saying? It also shows Gira and the, the division. Uh, you know the division. Uh, forming between Gira and what he call uh, Sienna Khan you know through the, even just Adam's actions it, it could it could even uh, be related that Adam's actions you know Adam's uh, forcefulness in those early uh, moments of combat are what sparked that little inspiration in Sienna to let her know that she has to rise up and take the white fang because Gira's being too passive you know he has to she has to be a little bit more aggressive but whereas Gira is passive she's aggressive Adam is totally insane you know and but he wasn't always like that before him and his like i'm guessing friends of four individuals they and just friends of fun friends and friends of faunus you know they just like went around to different like um Shnita's company factories and did a little bit of damage here did a little bit of looting over there and then that slowly built up as he started gaining people's attention though he he got the attention of the white fang they started recognizing him supporting him and even but even uplifting him you know giving him a reason to fight and sort of promoting this negative behavior in him the sort of aggressive behavior in him and you know like they had that literally a palpatine dart Vader scene at the end where you know Sienna recognizes him and is like hey if you keep on this path you know maybe you could get a seat right next to me you know what I'm saying I mean she's obviously promoting the uh you know this kind of uh obviously this uh he, she recognizes his strength and he can be a valuable asset and a valuable ally to the White Fang but what she didn't anticipate is that he would go down such a darker path and especially due to his relationship with Blake because you know he he show like you see the softer side of him when he's conversing with Blake but you know Blake sees like that he's she's he's slowly slipping into that level of insanity because you know like he says that thing about her parents you know that Gira and Kali actually you know are going down a different path even though Blake is still sticking with Adam so it's crazy see how the story is being formulated and like this tapestry of Adam's life has been sort of forming he's uh, he's turning into quite a bit of a tragic character even though he's like an evil tragic character because what is evil you know evil is the absence of love you know so but he seems like he did have love but he lost it and that is his version of evil he's not that Salem version of evil but he's his own version of evil he's been sort of it's it, it, he's basically a potion that's been concocting for a very long time it's been brewing for a very long time and it's finally you know because he went in as many of you guys commented in the comment section that since he went in with like a small handful of people he didn't anticipate like such a large force intercepting them that now he's experienced such a such a grand you know a failure that you know like you see him like you know wiggling around and he's like you know dizzy and i think he's going through a bit of a crisis at the moment he's literally lost his um you know his little mask so uh, next volume or the uh, upcoming volume after that maybe volume seven are we gonna get adam without his mask so oh that'd be pretty crazy because so far we haven't seen him without his mask at all his friends his early friends did see him without his mask but not uh, but not us you know what i'm saying oh so cool so cool and see enough for the win thank you Rooster for giving us a little taste of Sienna Khan. Please give us more. Please give us a Sienna Khan specific character short. Now, is that asking too much? Maybe that is asking a little bit too much. But hey, man, I would be so happy. So happy. You know? But uh, this was awesome. I loved her weapon. What's her weapon called? I think one of you guys mentioned this before. Because you guys can leave it down in the comments again. I loved it. I'm guessing she can uh, unchain the hook and doesn't have to just be an ice dust. Maybe it can be like an other, other like fire or, you know, lightning or earth or something like that. Another form of dust as manipulation as well. But the way she wraps that chain around is just perfecto, man. Perfecto. I love it so much. Anyways, uh, is there anything I forgot to mention? The division between Gira and Sienna, uh, his uh, his life sort of just developing, you know, his personality growing, his attention and detail to, uh, well, his uh, his love and infatuation of Blake and her being like sort of like the cornerstone of his sanity. And then as she left, so apparently his sanity starts to break apart. And then he has uh, he he cements that sanity with like you know his position in the White Fang, but he starts to lose that as a uh, lose a hold of that as well. When then when Cinder and the gang show up, you know, like uh, giving him even a taste of a uh, much more power and a bigger victory at Beacon, 
he just gets more crazier and crazier and crazier and he's uh, and and you know how he was like so calm in his discussion and like the way he talked in the early versions of it the early parts of the short and then you see him in at the end of volume five and he just talks like a complete madman so wonderful transition absolutely beautiful i i, I can't believe i was almost about to skip this short i totally forgot about that this is why that's why i need you guys in the comments man you guys remind me of this great shit anyways um those are my thoughts on this uh character short this is my favorite character short by far this was by far my favorite character short to date you know what i'm saying because man see you're the car bro and of course adam's story we get a little bit more of that uh so that was pretty cool anyways what did you guys think leave your comments down below and i will see you guys later in the next ruby video which may be ruby volume 6 chapter 1 if i don't do the soundtrack reaction first anyways <laughs> have a wonderful day or wonderful night wherever you guys are bye Thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe, hit that like button and feel free to share the video and I'll see you guys next time.